So what does all this have to do with convection? Why are we talking about penguins? Why are we talking about molecules and we care if they're all close together and dense or if they're all spread apart? Well, actually, this is very important and connects to everything that happens on our Earth. So when we see something that's less dense, when the molecules are more spread out, that means they're more buoyant. So buoyant means that they actually they float above the dense things. So anything that's more spread out will float above the things that are really dense. Warm air or warm water will end up rising. So it rises because it's less dense. So anything that's less dense will rise up high. And then the opposite, when, th when you have cold water or cold air, it's going to sink. And cold air and cold air sink because it's more dense. And so this is a pattern that goes on and on. As things warm up, they rise. And as they cool down, they sink. And this pattern of rising and falling and rising and falling creates what is very importantly known as a convection current. And to see a demonstration of this, I highly recommend you check out the link at the bottom of the slide. Learn more about what happens in a convection current.